Stay with me. Stay with me. I'm sorry. Your people don't deserve this. It is our chosen path. Our duty. It's never been easy. I understand what it's like to lose people. Trinity won't stop, will they? I doubt it. They have many resources. And the Atlas? It's an ancient map to the old city. The Trinity won't find it at that tower. Many of my people live in those ruins. They won't be prepared for what's coming. I can help them, Jacob. Will you do this for us? Or for that which you seek? Right now, they're one and the same. I'll be back with reinforcements after I've tended to the wounded. Yes. What is it? We're in bad shape, Jacob. The attack left us in shambles, and we have no one to send to the Acropolis. I know. I'll send you the wounded. straight. Everything's blurry. It has been months since the snows of the mountain buried the heart of Katesh. We sent men to search for survivors or food, but none have returned. Sounds drift up from the glaciers, but if people still lived entombed inside, I do not know. It could be the shifting ice, but I will be the first to admit, it sounds like the voices of men. Perhaps the ghosts of the Prophet's warriors still patrol the frozen streets. We will send no more of our people inside. We have to accept that the Prophet, and the city, are lost to us, and that we are now on our own. That's to be expected with the door to the head. It is. It will get better, right? You look a little grand. Barely. I'm the one steady on your feet. I can't promise. I can read this now, and it's pointing somewhere. Beautiful in the early evening, when the last embers of the sunlight dying upon a good day's work. Then, one by one, the fires are lit, and the smell of roasting meat wafts across the camp. They tell me that it's guinea pig. I declined it. Roth ate too. Maybe next time I'll bring you out here too. How did your history test go? Those were my happiest memories, Dad. Being out on the digs with you. Especially when you gave me my own little plot to excavate. 
I liked that. Feeling that I was part of something important. I aced that test, by the way. Some kind of burial chamber. A basket made of silver. Certainly meant to be decorative, but someone's been using it to carry grain. Someone broke into this place in the dead of night. They filled their pockets with coin, turned over urns of oil and wine, and saw fit to show disrespect to all that are interred here. It shreds my heart to think that one of our own could be so callous as to desecrate this place, all for a momentary earthly gain. We must find a way to keep this place safe, even from our own brothers. be far from our home, but that does not make us barbarians. When our loved ones pass on, as far too many have this season, we treat them with respect. When we did not yet have a vineyard to produce wine, we washed the dead with lake water. When we lacked the looms to spin the death shroud, we wrapped our departed in skins and hides. We carried few coins with us, but now we forge our own, so that our blessed dead can pay passage to the next world. I only wish that the price was not so high.
Interesting. Did they embalm their dead? golden chalice fit for a king or a prophet. It was made here in Katash. Jacob, it's a mess up here. There's no sign of your people. Sophia might have taken them into the catacombs beneath the tower. But I've lost contact with her. All right, I'll look for her there. We're almost done evacuating the wounded here. I'll join you soon. <sighs> We heard of the Prophet's arrival in Constantinople, but we paid it no mind. The great city has always drawn madmen and pretenders to the ear of God. We heard strange tales of miracles of the Prophet, but still we did not seek him out. But then we heard him speak, heard the liquid truth of his words roll across the form of Constantine. He claimed not to speak for God, claimed that no man could, but his wisdom was plain, and not a one of us in that forum could deny that he spoke the truth. I must know more about him. I must hear him again.
too late. God, no. It is our first winter since the Mongol invasion. No more than one in three of us will survive. We once had marble palaces, heated by geothermal vents. We had the wealth and luxury of an empire. Today, we struggle to find enough hides to keep our children warm, to gather enough roots and berries to feed ourselves. If we are to survive another winter, we will have to adapt. If we do not, then we will feed the soil, and the animals will take back the valley. It is up to us now. Only us. The creatures of this valley were unfamiliar to us, once. But now they are our brothers and sisters, as much as any relative of blood. You can learn much about the creatures of our valley from the hunters, but they find worth in death. We must also find the gifts our brothers give while they are still alive. In the nests of birds, you'll find feathers for the fletches to craft arrows. Ask for what you need, and the valley will provide. Our ancestors came here as men and women fleeing Byzantium. They wandered into a wild that almost killed them. But they survived and found this valley. And how did they honor this gift from God? By tearing the stones from the mountains and building a new empire. A mocking echo of that which almost destroyed them. But like the Tower of Babel, God saw fit to cast us down and to make us humble. We learn to listen to the land, to become stewards, not conquerors. And in turn, the land has offered up its secrets. You only have to listen. Reliquary box. Something used to protect and hold relics of the saints. Anything from teeth to fingers to the entire head, this claims to be a relic of the Prophet. <sighs> it's empty. The courtyard's clear. What do you want us to do with these prisoners? Take him out! Don't shoot! <laughs> Missed one. Be more thorough going forward. 
What's our status? Looks all clear here. Team 4 is searching the tunnels for any sign of the Atlas. Spread out and sweep the area. Kill anything still moving. And use your knives if you can. We need to conserve ammo. Check this out. We don't have time for this. Let's move. Yeah, well, you should make time. It's why we're here. Just, just give me a second. Hold up. These bastards are resourceful. They might have set up some traps. Don't worry. I'll kill anything that moves. Just take it slow. Stay sharp. Sophia. So much bloodshed. We're losing too many people. Maybe your people have sacrificed enough. It's all we've known. I misjudged you, Lara. And tell me how I can help you. I've got to get the rest to safety. But the entrance to the catacombs is blocked. I'll find a way to clear it. You're gonna be okay. Uh, uh, I'm all right. I'll be all right. Just help us get the others to safety. 
I just need to rest. Give me a moment. It'll be yours. This mural shows the moment they found the valley. It must have looked like a paradise. Maybe I can unblock it from here. The catacombs. Mm. Some kind of armory. Hmm. This should do it. Ancient deer charm carved from a stag's antler. It could have been an important object or a child's toy. Get clear of the door! Thank you, Lara. They'll be safe in the catacombs for now. I know you seek the Divine Source, but my people will die to protect it. Your people are already dying. You can't protect it forever. We've lasted this long. But for now, I'm glad to have you as an ally. They're converging on the tower. We still got people there. Get the others to safety. They'll need you. My father is missing. Last night I told him of the invaders and the weapons they have at their disposal. When the sun rose, he was gone. Cyril told me he would be back, but the day is almost done and no one has seen him. I fear he may have done something rash, the old fool. We need him. At this moment more than ever. Of course, it's a riddle. But if I'm reading this right... flora of our valley, from the tall trees to the lowly mushrooms, were foreign to our ancestors when they first arrived. It took time and tragedy to learn the language of this land. But now we pass on this knowledge with every generation. The earth offers all we need. There is the healing herb, which you know to seek near sources of water and in sheltered coves. The birchwood of the forest, straight and true, can be gathered to make arrows and the death caps. The mushrooms you find inside rotting logs or in dark, damp places can make a potent poison.
here, but we're taking fire from the choppers. I need you to get Trinity's attention, any way you can. Leave it to me. I can do this. A papal bull. The lead seal marking the authenticity of a document. This must have been attached to something of great import, like a writ of excommunication. Elias and I will attempt to reach the far hills, where the old bear lives. Trinity is still clustered below in the old Soviet base. We will wait until the dead of night to go. It is a great risk, but we know a battle is coming. We'll have need of the medicinal herbs that grow in those hills, if we are to survive the coming struggle.
I want answers, but what choice do I have now? I can't let Trinity wipe these people out. There are lines here that I crossed a long time ago, and there's no going back. I've got to help them. It's clear that Jacob's people would die for him, and he for them. That kind of loyalty is rare, and to find it here at the ends of the earth is truly remarkable. If I fight with them, perhaps Jacob will trust me enough to tell me what's really going on. It has been nearly a decade since Katesh was lost to us. In the first years, I thought we would not survive. We are the remnant of a once great people, but we did survive. The struggle became second nature, and then a way of life. Our numbers no longer dwindle. We may never be great again, but we will live, this winter and the next. I know this in my heart, for God has given us a sign. Last night, a wild man wandered into our camp, emaciated and raving with fever. We gave him food, cut his tangled beard, and cleaned his wounds. The others do not recognize him yet. It has been too long. But I know him. The Prophet. The Prophet has returned to us. Team 5, we're heading into the catacombs. Need some back up here. Got it. On our way. Why don't we just drop them some grenades and we... <laughs> You're damn right I am. Hold this position! Jacob, they're gone. I fear this battle is far from over. Will you tell me more about this place? You've earned that much. Come with me.
In ancient times, our prophet brought the divine source to this valley. My ancestors built the test to protect it from the outside world. To what end? What is the divine source, Jacob? An artifact from a time long forgotten. We believe it holds a fragment of God's soul. Legend tells us those who beheld the source were granted immortality. But others have always been drawn here, seeking its power. Trinity. Yes. They seek to spread their darkness across the world. With the source, their soldiers would be unstoppable. Then help me find it before they do. This is not your burden. Of course it is. My father died for this. You can't fill the emptiness inside you, Lara. You can only set it free. I'm gonna find it. With or without you. Wait, Sophia, let me go. I have to do what I can. You spilt blood for us. I want to help. You know where the Atlas is? The cathedral. In the archives below. But we won't follow you there. Why? What will I find? There are others. The deathless ones. They will kill any who trespass. My father believes they will stop Trinity. You can't take that chance. I know. Here. Take this. It will help you reach the cathedral. <laughs> 